Okay, so let's look at equation number 15, uh, which is information theory. Uh, this equation was formulated by Claude e. Shannon in 1949. Uh, very important equation in the discipline of computer science slash electrical engineering. We use that a lot. Uh, based on this equation, we can develop, we have developed uh, compression algorithms, uh, multimedia compression techniques, including image processing, digital image processing, uh, video compressions, and all of that. So let me briefly explain what that equation means. Uh, what that equation means, uh, h of x is actually stands for how much information is there. Information entropy, how much information there. The way Shannon, Shannon explained this equation was something like that. Uh, notice the equation that we have probabilities, p of x of i, that is log base two, probability of an event. Basically what this equation in an intuitive way is saying, let's say if I tell you that it's going to be sunny tomorrow, did you gain anything? You haven't gained any type of information. There's nothing, everyone knows that there's going to be, uh, it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow. But if I tell you that it's going to rain heavily tomorrow or it's gonna start hailing tomorrow in Karachi, uh, then now that's the probability of the, this event is very low. Hence, the information is very high. That's what this definition is saying. That's what this, you can express this top equation with respect to this without the negative sign, which is one over the probability of that event. So let me explain that again. What that information is saying, the higher the probability of an event is, the less the information it contains. The less, lesser the probability of that event is, the higher the, the, higher the information is going to be there in that, uh, uh, in that event. Uh, let me give you also, let me explain what this uh, formula or this definition is also expressing. Let's say, let's, first of all, let's take this line. Let's count how many letters alphabets are there. Hypothetically speaking, let's say that this sentence contains 15 letters, hypothetically speaking. And the num and, and let's take another letter, uh, alphabet, let's take E. E has occurred in this particular sentence, hypothetically, five times. So what is going to be the probability of E? Probability of E is going to be five divided by 15, which is one third, all right? So that goes here in place of P, X, of Y. So 0.33. Now you take log base two of 0.33 for E. And in this way, you start doing for all the alphabets which are there in this particular sentence. Once you accumulate all of that, you will get total number of bits. So I have done an example here. Let's do an example for my name, Muhammad. So let me type in, I think, let me refresh it. So if I were to calculate this, what it's saying is this, that in order for you to represent 2.41, uh, if, if in order for you to represent Muhammad, you only need 2.41 bits of information. Now, let me explain that further. So let's say okay, I have an alphabet, number of alphabets in my name is num eight. If I were to just transmit that data as is, every single alphabet needs to be converted into an ASCII value and ASCII is an 8-bit number. So M has some ASCII value, which needs to be converted in a form of bits. So that is going to be 8 bits for M. For U, there's going to be 8 bits. For H is going to be 8 bits. In this way, you will have 64 bits I need to send without compressing it to one end so other party can understand that I have sent Muhammad. Now what Shannon Entropy is telling me that you know what? You can you can you can represent this Muhammad. You don't need to have 64 bits. You can just use 2.41 bits to send that data from one end to another end without compromising the integrity of that particular message. So based this was a starting point, and based on this, people have come up with. Uh, uh, Shannon come up with an expression al compression algorithm. Uh, Huffman has a very unique compression algorithm which became the basis of WinRAR and WinZip and things that we know. So, so very important equation. Uh, so, so basically what, what you're doing is you're removing the redundancy in your message without compromising the integrity of your message. So this was a very key achievement at that time and we still use that. Uh, so, so that's the idea behind the Shannon Entropy is. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, 